right? Like it's just it's a weird it's dynamic to come into because you want to come in and be like, prove yourself. I, I deserve to be here. I earned it. They wanted me. But the rest of the room, like you haven't earned any of the respect because they haven't seen you work. They don't know anything that you did. And you have to come in and, and really gain that room's trust during the season, which is really, really hard to do. And not only yeah. that, but you got to gain the trust of the whole team. And that's yeah. hard to do too because defensive players are like week eight, like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Dude, he's been with us well, for like eight been, weeks. So, what do you mean? I, I have a funny story about that in Buffalo, right? So in Buffalo, I got picked up week four, right? So after I got cut by Carolina, I had a hamstring injury. I rehabbed it, went out to Buffalo, worked out on a Friday. And they were like, hey, we're going to sign you on Monday after our game. And so they signed me on Monday. And then I'm there on Tuesday. So our first Wednesday practice, right? It's a full pad practice. And there's this D lineman that is just him and I are just going after each other, right? Like he's on the scouty, I'm on the scouty, and like or he's on the twos and I'm I'm running the scouty and we're just going after it. And it's a goal line period and I end up pushing him over a pile and he gets up and starts swinging, right? So I start swinging and we're fighting and as I'm we're fighting, we're realizing no one is coming to help either one of us. Right? Like we're both just sitting there fighting like idiots. Right? And so then like hold me back. Eventually me back. eventually okay. it like ends, right? Cuz eventually like all right, dumbasses, get back in the huddle. And then after practice, I went up and just kind of shook his hands like, "Hey man, sorry, I'm new here. Like I just got here." And he goes, oh, yeah, I just got here on Tuesday, too. And so both of us were brand new to the team. No one like, knew who we really were. And I could just picture the rest of the team being like, who are these idiots? Yeah. Like They just got here. They're fighting each other. Right? And it ended up being Jordan Phillips from Miami, and who's with Buffalo. And so like we actually became pretty good friends after that. Uh, just because one of those things where it's like we were just fighting, it was like watching the two new kids fight that no one had any skin in the game whatsoever. <laughs> they were just like, oh, let they can fight to the death and yeah, no like, one cares. No, we'll just we'll just figure it out. Like people were <laughs> probably like, I don't even know who's who's seventy four and ninety seven. Who are those guys? Do they even play on this team? Yeah. I happening? just want it noted that both of you went in with the right mentality. We are yeah. going to fight until somebody pulls me out, and yeah. that is the fucking problem nowadays. Is nobody goes in with the right mentality, like. Jay just told you, I went in day one and a fight broke out and I knew I had to start swinging. Why? Because yeah. that's the mentality of the old lineman. And if you don't swing, what's going to happen? You're going to get cut. Why? Because a fight broke out your first day and you got bitched out by some D lineman whose first day it was too. And the two of you didn't even know the rules and you didn't even swing. But your rules in your head should always state that if I get swung on, I'm swinging back. Like That's yeah. how it goes. That's why and, I find this awesome. Yeah, and day one, I was like, I ain't going to get punked by anyone. No. I'm in no, year you five. Know the rules. Like, I'm in year five. Like, I'm not a rookie, right? Like, I'm not a rookie. I'm a vet. I've played in NFL games before. Like, I'm not going to get punked. And he thought the same thing, right? And it's just, it, it, it was funny. McDermott actually came up to me afterwards. He's like, I like that. And I was like, thank See? you, coach. Thank you, yeah. sir. Right? Like, and, and it set the tone for the kind of player that I was going to be, right? And you have to, and I earned respect in the O line room. Like I oh, earned respect in the old line room where line. all those guys were like, hey, all right. Like I, the next day, they're like, I see you. I see you 74. Like they didn't even know my name yet. Like, yeah. I, see you, I see you 74, <laughs> right? It's like it's just one of those things where it's like it's the mentality I had as an undrafted mentality, which is I don't take shit from no one, right? I've earned everything I've been given. There's a reason they cut that dude and brought me in here, right? Like I'm not going to just back down. Like I'm here to take this job and not let anyone take it from me. Yeah, and I ended dude. up dressing the next week. Like that's just – you have to have that cutthroat mentality in the league or else you will not last. That's why I think people don't understand how the league really is. is that's how it is all everywhere. Like if a fight breaks out and I'm in the middle of it, I guess I'm going to have to swing back. I got stuck in the middle of this, but then all of a sudden every coach on the side is like, yo, great job. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I love that shit. Like that's what you want. You want the coaches pulling you aside. Sure. In front of the team, he's going to cuss me out. You know what? This is going to cost us in the game. 15 yards. You stupid shit. You're like, all right, whatever, dude. But then he pulls you aside. He's like, yo, for real though, that shit was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did you think about Stefanski's rule in uh, in Cleveland with the joint practices? Did you see that rule? No. What's Where, it like so like it was the last preseason game and it was joint practices with uh, oh gosh, I can't New remember England, who it was. Right? Maybe, but he came out and he's like, "I made a rule this week to make sure there was no fights because there had been so many fights in joint practices up to this point, right? Mm -hmm. There's that brawls, Fuck, yeah. and he, so he literally goes, "Here's the rules: if you're a starter and you get in a fight." you have to play in the last preseason game, even though yeah. none of the starters are playing. If you're a young guy fighting for a job and you get in a fight, you will not be allowed to play in the last preseason game. 
I was like, that's the best way to. I've never you seen a better way to. It's yeah. You could have punched. That's better than a fine, dude. Right? If I was a young guy, <laughs> I was. If I was a young guy and someone started swinging on me, I'd have just sat there with my hands behind my back and be like, I'm playing in this game. There ain't no <laughs> well and like. And if you're a starter, the last thing you want to do is be the only one oh. out there. <laughs> the <laughs> only Good starter job, out there. Ass. Like Can the whole one on the other side, be like, hey, the was those punches? Guard just sitting out yeah. there. Were those Not punches worth bitch. it? Were those punches worth it? Nine <laughs> on seven, huh? Were they worth it? 